Hello and welcome back to my channel. It is fast approaching that time of year again, party season. And I say this with a roll of the eyes because I don't particularly enjoy party season and it's not because of the social aspect. It's more so because of the often imposed dress code and the very sort of stereotypical festive party wear that is thrust upon us year after year. So every festive season I see the same kind of things, they're all in the shop windows, they're on the big Christmas TV adverts and every retailer has a dedicated party section on their websites and it's the same year after year. Party dresses, jumpsuits, glitter, sequins, gems, beads, flapper fringing, chain mail, lurex, and then all those shiny fabrics like metallic lame, textures like tulle and velvet. It's all very go big or go home. And whilst I have nothing against that ethos, it is not the ethos of us minimalistic dresses. And I actually feel like us minimalists aren't very well represented or catered for at this time of year. So ironically, we actually have to work harder in order to strip back an outfit to make it more us. So every year I get requests for party season outfit ideas videos. And to be honest with you, the thought of that just makes me wanna curl up under a blanket and hide away. But this year I have decided to film this video so that I can kind of discuss and talk through the ways that I tackle party season dressing. So if like me, your personal style does not embody the festive spirit in any way, shape or form, hopefully this video will be useful. But quickly, before I get started, I did just want to share some of my old style throwback photos with you guys from a time many, many, many years ago where I loved a sequin or two or three or a million. I haven't always been a minimalist and these photos are actually some of my very first outfit photos when I started my blog just over 14 years ago. And to preempt the question, yes, I did indeed go out wearing those sequin knickers and I was not alone. They were very much a vibe back then but my how the times have changed. Right, so festive party outfits don't normally involve a nice big chunky jumper and a pair of trainers, which as you all know is my go-to. And this is why party season is often quite problematic for me. That said, it comes around once a year. It's occasion, it's festive, it's literally for one month. So I feel like exceptions and allowances can be made but without spending a great deal of money because this is my number one thing. I don't like having to buy occasion wear or seasonal pieces that just don't get worn. I especially don't like having to buy new things every festive period. So what I also want to be able to do is utilize some of the pieces that I have in my wardrobe already and use those in my festive outfits, which if like me, you love tailoring, makes things so much easier. Right, so outfit number one, I actually took this look from the Arquette website and I think it really demonstrates how you can incorporate sequins, but really kind of pair them back and make them look effortless, but also quite edgy and quite cool. So first of all, I think black sequins are more subtle than the metallic colors like gold and silver. So they immediately look a little bit more chic. The oversized gray pinstripe blazer would be the kind of thing that I already have in my wardrobe. And the same goes for whatever basic could be worn underneath, whether it's literally a basic t-shirt to really pare back that look or something slightly dressier like a silk camisole. I also really love the pointed toe shoes, which are actually kitten heels in this specific look. So not sort of conventional, super high skyscraper heels. But what I love is that if you had some pointed toe boots, maybe on the slightly flatter side, some loafers, or even just some pointed ballet flats, I think they'd work equally as well, whilst being practical 
and comfortable. Now on to outfit number two, and fabrics with more of a sheen to them as opposed to the full on bold metallics or super shiny and glittery fabrics are a much more subtle way to go. So fabrics like silk satin or just synthetic satin, if you're working with a slightly tighter budget, have a sheen to them. And in my opinion, they're much more luxe looking than those other shiny, shiny fabrics. So you could incorporate anything silk satin, whether it be the main part of the outfit, like a slip dress, which you could then lay a blazer over the top of and add some boots or some barely there sandals. And it's a really sort of chic, minimalistic look. Or it could just be one piece that's used to build an outfit. So something like a silk satin midi or maxi skirt, which actually is a really great piece to have anyway. These are things that can be worn throughout the year, dressed up or dressed down. Now, one bonus if opting for real silk is that it's a natural fiber. So it's breathable and it's lightweight. So in a crowded kind of party environment, it's ideal and won't cause you to sweat unlike many of the synthetic garments that are available at this time of year. Okay, moving on to outfit suggestion or option number three, and it is the suit. There is just something about a woman in a suit. It's a look that I have always loved. It's a look, it is a vibe. And if like me, you are not a fan of wearing dresses in the winter time when it's cold, it's actually a much more practical option. Plus, if you wear a suit to work and have let's say like a Christmas office party afterwards, it's the kind of thing that is so easy to take from day to night. So there's a few different ways you can really amp up a suit. You could wear something quite sheer underneath, whether it be some kind of a top or a skirt or blouse. You could do a very simple silk or satin camisole and add some different jewelry. Maybe instead of a blazer, you could wear a waistcoat. And this was actually a look that I loved during the summer. I had some linen sort of waistcoat suits and I wore them in a much more casual way, but it's definitely something that can be but it's definitely something that can be dressed up and amped up for the festive party season. And it doesn't have to be bought as a matching suit. You could do what I do and sort of mix and match your tailoring so that you've got lots of different options to pair together or to wear separately. And these are the kind of things that I wear all year round. So very, very cost effective having some kind of suit or mix and match tailoring in your wardrobe. Outfit number four is now incorporating leather trousers. Now these might divide opinion and admittedly, leather clothing is something that I usually stay clear of. It always gives me that really cold feeling when you first put it on. Like I don't have any leather blazers. They just, I have had in the past, but they just made me feel a little bit cold when I put them on. Having said that, I have got a pair of leather trousers. They're not leggings, they're trousers, which I bought a few years ago from H&M and they actually bring this style out every single year uh, from the H&M Premium Collection. And I love them. Again, they're another item that I can sort of wear on more of a day-to-day -day basis as well. So they're not a seasonal waste of money, but they are also really great for dressing up. So in terms of styling, they could be worn with something that would give off more of a feminine vibe on top, like a silk satin shirt or a blouse or a camisole. So going back to that sort of fabric with more of a sheen rather than full on metallics. Or as I mentioned with regards to this suit, even something more of a sheer fabric. There's lots of those kind of options available at the moment as well. I wouldn't necessarily go for something involving sequins on top because that for me personally would be a little bit too much and sort of take it over the edge but I would just keep it really really simple with some court shoes or barely their sandals and a very basic but dressier piece on top. Okay and then outfit number five and this is kind of more of something that's going to tie in with the rest of the outfits that I've previously mentioned and it is the bare blazer look. So this is one look that I've always found really easy to pull together last minute. It's just a blazer being worn with nothing underneath. You can of course wear a bra or bralette underneath, which is what I do if you need or wanted to. 
but of course this look might be limited to those with a slightly smaller bust like myself who don't need much support on top. And the bare blazer, as I just mentioned, could be teamed with some of the items that I have previously spoken about. So the sequin trousers, some suit trousers, a silk or satin slip skirt, or even some satin trousers. I've actually got some silk satin trousers with an elasticated waistband. I would wear it with some of those. Or finally, the leather trousers. The only downside to the nothing underneath a blazer look is that you don't have any layers to strip off if you get a little bit warm. Right, so that was my hopefully brief take on how I, as a more minimalistic dresser, tackle dressing for the festive party season. Given that this is the first kind of proper Christmas, I think, in the last couple of years, the first time that we haven't had any restrictions, you know, there's no lockdowns or anything like that. Everything's open again, I hope. We're all able to get out there and enjoy thoroughly the festive season, but however that may look for you, whether you wanna go out or whether you don't. Thank you, as always, for watching, and I will see you next time.